poisonous. Somebody just grab it! I ain't that fast! One last thing to hide behind. Good thinking! Well... Uh, somebody kneecap that thing! Does it even have kneecaps? Maybe try calling it and find nowhere left to hide. But it can still run! There's gotta be some way to slow it down! It's okay, buddy. Brute don't like things that move fast. This beast is proving formidable. I have a good feeling about this one. I was expecting something bigger. It makes up for it in speed. What is that? Definitely not a monster. <laughs> Adorable. It's more matted than an Asgardian goat. We cannot present this pathetic creature to the monster queen of Sektoff 9. She will laugh at us. Maybe we can use it as bait. I knew those thumpers wouldn't work. What? My thumpers are state-of-the-art. Musclehead's the one who rushed at the first thing that came through the door. My head is not made of muscle. Seeing what I'm seeing? Yes. And that is a monster. Enough with the warm up. Time to catch us a real monster. Let's get to it. name is that? Definitely not cleaner bots. Watch it! The place is crapping out. We gotta get out of here! Now! Curse these volatile ruins! Let's go! Someone play this man a song! Yeah, we're talking! Watch the ship! I'm watching, I'm watching! You ain't! Drax, what are you doing? I am holding my buttocks as Peter Quill instructed. Watch it! Someone give me a hand! <laughs> am I right? How about one upside the head? Heads up! We have debris incoming! Blow it away, Quill! Time to thread the needle! Don't even think about it! Quickest way through is through! Peter! You fear dying with a guilty conscience, assassin! Don't you get go on my back! My shit! Look! That's it! Let me drive! You're gonna get us killed! We're not dead yet! Maybe we are in this town! Do not be ridiculous! This place lacks the eternal frost from us, too! Your hell is frozen? Tathians do not like to be cold. Try putting on a shirt! See? He's so good. says watch out! Yeah, thanks for the heads up! You want me to take the controls? No, I've got this! Clearly! Watch it! Oh, he got us killed. Well, there's still so much stuff I want to steal. We ain't gonna make it. Hit the blue button! What blue button? The one for the secret boosters I added! Can you please stop adding things while I'm asleep? Punch it, Peter! Now is not the time for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Whoa! Look, yeah! Definitely a fan of the blue button! Start on all sides. We ain't gonna make it. We'll make it. Maybe. There's the exit. See, hope stretch. Your last breath.
Yeah! And that's what I call a win, people. How's that a win? Our monster just got eaten. Whatever you can fly away from means you screwed up because you had to fly away from it. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. Please don't be Nova Corps. It is Nova Corps. Hope. Uh, did you say Hal is Hope? Um, <clears throat> there's a, a, a thing I got. I gotta do. I'll, I'll be right back. We need to get rid of that animal now. <sighs> I'm serious, Peter. If it stays on the ship, we all go to prison. No one's going to jail. It's a harmless space llama thingy. Harmless? Remember Anakubi? Not really, no. That's because they scorched the planet because an idiot smuggled in an Exelon. I will eject the beast into space. Whoa, 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 we're not ejecting anything. It'll make us look guilty. <laughs> it could be carrying Zephron's disease. Which is why Drax is gonna hide in the secret cargo compartment behind Groot's plants. Peter. Jason. Quill. Really? My middle name? Hey, Corell! How you doing? How long's it been? Two, three years? You look good. You been tanning? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you. Corral, I swear it's not what it looks like. That you're a junker trespassing in the most restricted area of space? Who consorts with thieves and murderers, apparently? Hey, killing people for money ain't murder, lady. Nice to see you too, Corral. Come on, Corral. You know me. We've been to hell and back. Sure, I've done some shady stuff since the war. Like, really shady stuff. But junking? I just caught you pink-handed, leaving the quarantine zone. Technically, yes, but we weren't scavenging. Right. Peter Quill, I found these items in the uh, space that you told me about. There was not enough room for both the other thing and these. Peter Quill of planet C-53, under galactic law ZXB-47, I am putting you and your crew under arrest for Actually, can I call you back? What? Please, tell me that is not a crate of super illegal tech. It is a crate of super illegal tech, which also happens to be very valuable. Really? What? We're on a Ravager ship. Even the Flark and Bulkheads are stolen. Well, we can't fit both in the compartment. I will eject the crate into space. Eject the crate, and I melt your face! The Milano's weapon systems are four generations behind, Quill. We need that tech, more than we need some stupid farm animal. That farm animal could be a class 3 biohazard. You want to end up in the kiln? Hide the llama. What? What about my stuff? Rocket, I know Corel. I'm pretty sure I can get her to go easy on us about the tech, but a potential biohazard? Man, I'm good, but I'm not that good. You slept with a cop? She wasn't a cop at the time. The point is, we were close. You just have to trust me. I am Groot. And that would be your boarding party. has no time to meet with law-breaking pirates like you. That's just it. We're not pirates. We're legally incorporated heroes for hire. Yeah, that's right. You check those records, Buckethead. Nova Corps licensing permit 67398-2. Gardeners of the galaxy? What? No. Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. I fixed it with an addendum. Not the most well-known heroes you could hire, but definitely in the top five of... Most awesome names. Contributing members. Groot, a Flora Colossus. Last of his kind, fearless in a firefight, an awesome best friend. Rocket, 
Bonafide super genius and a wizard with explosives. Definitely not a raccoon. Gamora, adopted daughter of Thanos, deadliest woman in the galaxy. Need we say more? Drax the Destroyer, convicted serial murderer and galactic war hero, often grumpy. Last and definitely least, Peter Jason Quill. That's it? That's all you wrote? There was a character limitation. <sighs> Sorry, excuse me, I just need to... Cadet Gold, what are you doing here? Oh, you don't know? Really? It says right here. Prisoner processing training. I'm your official trainee. <laughs> Aren't you a little young for the Corps? Aren't you a little old for that hairdo? I should check with the captain. No. No, 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 no. She, she definitely signed off on this. You know how thorough she is about signing stuff? If I may, sir, the real concern here is Regulation 7A regarding prisoner footgear. That one's jet boots are in clear violation. They're decorative. Good work, Cadet Gold. Great. There goes Plan B. No, you do not got this, pirate. I got this. Now fall in line. Not to go, prisoners. Watch the jacket. Cadet Gold, you know the arrest protocols? All memorized, sir. First thing we do... First thing you do is apologize. We're legitimate business-like folk on legitimate-like business. We're not hunting an illegal creature in illegal space. The illegal... Stop helping. You said we were not. We can use what they say against them, right? Absolutely. Guys, please stop talking. Hold it right here. Is there a problem? Yes! No faith energy, no power. No power, no containment. A single spot. The techs are looking at it. They say that. They cannot even fathom. How can they fix what they cannot understand? Put the Grand Unifier's mind at ease. Run the scanners again. What the flark is a Grand Unifier? Grand Unifier Raker. Leader of the Church of... Universal... something. He was floating dead in the quarantine zone. Looking for God, Let's go. We caught him just like we caught you. Difference is, I know the Captain. As I was saying, if you just tell the Captain that I... Mom explicitly said she doesn't want to see you. Yeah, Quill. Wait. Just, just to be super clear on the mom thing. You, Nikki. Ah! Okay, Nikki, here's the plan. You're gonna jump and grab my legs while I hold on for dear life. That doesn't sound like... Trust me, kiddo. We got this. around the corner we'll be safe there here help me with this ready together on three two one <laughs> go go okay we need to keep moving this yeah, way Nikki? 
Whoa. Just stay close. I knew there was something wrong about that church here. Who goes fishing for God in a junkyard? Oh man, this is bad. Just give me a sec. You know, I could probably help if my jet boots worked. Regulation 3C. Never reactivate foot gear. Come on! If I can fly up. No! To... You're my prisoner! And I got this! Obviously. Oh! Okay, we're gonna have to find another way. Are we sure there isn't a way through here? I'm in charge here. As Whoa! Ah! <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You? Oh, dandy. Okay, this way. Shouldn't we be going up? Back toward the others? There's another blast door. Are you kidding me? Relax, you're fine. Ish. I mentioned how useful my jet boots will be right now. Okay, I can do this. Not you or anything. Almost there. Yes, got it. Through here. <laughs> nice work. Thanks. You didn't do too bad yourself, pirate. Only Star Lord, or Peter, or you know, Nova Cadet Butt Saver. Okay, Peter. So listen, I have some good news and some bad news about your friends. Give me the good news. They're all fine. I mean, they all have life signs. So, what's the bad news? They've been processed and put in the brig. Come on, we'll be safe through here. Flark! Pipes must have burst. Should we try using that thingamajig of yours to call someone? We don't need help. I know what I'm doing. Now help me block this fire so we can get through. Sure. Just that everyone must be worried. Captain's kid goes missing. Captain's kid is still a corpsman. Now are you gonna help me or not? Yes, ma'am. Easy does it. See? You don't need to worry about me. Enough people around here do that already. For what it's worth, I think you're doing great. As good an arresting officer as I've ever had. How many have you had? Not that many. That Is that robot wearing makeup? What? Oh, yeah. That's just it. I, um, I know all the bots down here. They're kind of my friends, I guess. I reprogrammed most of them. And gave them faces. Maybe. No, I mean it's cool. Give them personality. Very cool. Does your mom know you play down here? Probably not. But what else am I gonna do? Not like there's any other kids on board. You know, I didn't have a lot of friends at your age either. Granted, I was in prison, but still. So mom was right about you. It was a Shatari prison. I was just a kid. I have so many questions. Were your parents in prison too? No, my mom, uh, died. I didn't know my dad. How do you know my mom, exactly? Uh, we fought together on Mercury during the war. She was, a, is, a real spitfire. More like real controlling. And bossy. And judgmental? You're just a kid, Nikki. You don't know what's good for you, Nikki. Stay out of the escape pods, Nikki. <laughs> I kind of know what you mean. You do? This is a new low, Peter. Even for you, Peter. It's restricted space, Peter. <laughs> yep. That's her. Okay. Almost there. Almost where? You'll see. Are you sure this is the quickest way to the brig? I thought you didn't want to go to the brig. Okay. Just trust me. I want to show you something. This way. Any day now. Right, right. Just taking it all in. It's a dead end. Trust me. Of course I trust you. Clearly. Where do you think you're going? Just making sure this place is safe and secure from the... This is an attempt to escape your mom's ship. I really need to know, because I may or may not be super interested. Just really need to make sure it doesn't look like a kidnapping. What? No, no. Oh, wow. 
Don't laugh. No, no. This is cool. It's like your secret hideout, right? I definitely prefer this to the brig. Well, we're not staying. I just need to check on Ultimo. His gyros have been all screwy. Something tells me you and Rocket would get along. Or really, really not get along. One of those two. The raccoon thing? Yeah. He seemed real charming. I just mean he's also really into all this tech stuff. Need a hand? Nope. But thanks. I'm almost done. Almost finished. Hey! Secret stuff. Off limits. No adults. I get it. Anyway, I'm all done here. We should probably get back before mom completely freaks. Yeah, I've seen your mom overreact before. It's like, I'm not a kid anymore, you know? Tell me about it. So, you get where I'm coming from, right? Like, if you do end up talking to my mom, the subject of me happens to come up. Say no more. I'll make sure Corel knows what a good job you did. No! I mean, thanks. But ideally, Mom never needs to know I was in the hangar at all. So I never saw you? Exactly! Never saw me. Never saw my passkey. You may have heard of Nikki Gold and how cool she is, but that's it. <sighs> Almost at the elevator. We're home. Need a hand? Yes! Got it! Mom? I can explain. Nikki. I'm fine. Mom, seriously. A-okay. Barely a scratch. What in Hala's name were you thinking? Sneaking out with an arresting squad. Running around with criminals. Alleged criminals. You almost died. Do you have any idea how grounded you are right now? Mom! You promised to give me more leeway. Leeway doesn't mean lying to my officers. Or sneaking around behind my back. Look, it's my fault some guy's ship blew up? Restricted areas are restricted for a reason. You treat me like a prisoner! You're a child! Are you even listening? Whoa, whoa! We've all been through a lot today. Let's just all take a deep breath and recognize that maybe we've all made some mistakes. Make sure the fire is out and the hangar secure. Yes, Commander. And find out why that churchman's shuttle exploded. Grand Unifier Raker has been less than cooperative. Make him cooperate. And you two? With me. I knew you'd overreact. You always overreact. Even Peter was saying so. Oh, he was, was he? I suspect Peter misspoke, something he often tends to do. So I suggest you worry less about what he said, and more about what I'm saying now. For what it's worth, Nikki totally saved my butt. She handled herself really well, and you have every reason to be proud of her. Coming from you, Peter, it's worth extraordinarily little. Why are you being mean to him? Just listen to what he's saying. I don't care what he's saying. Upper level. Captain's quarter. Finally. Initiate lockdown. Lockdown initiated. What, are you gonna kill us? In theory, these doors don't open until I say so. Yeah, I know how lockdown works. I don't think you do, because somehow you keep bypassing every security measure on this ship, and I want to know how. Or you can just show me. Mom! <laughs> I seriously have no idea what you're talking about. You know, this reminds me of the last time I was stuck in the elevator. I was with this Shi'ar girl, and she... Ew! wrong with you? She was a lovely person. Someone, please get out of here. No one leaves until you tell me what I want to know. You already know everything. No, I don't. I know you're a magnet for danger, and that you somehow keep getting caught in restricted areas of this ship. I'm small. Okay, I fit into places. Being small doesn't get you past security or through the hangar bay checkpoint, or the maintenance tunnel blast doors. There was that system-wide glitch, remember? Yeah. Yeah, security was down for a while. No, it wasn't. Seemed pretty down to me. Are you seriously lying for a 12-year-old right now? 12? Oh, wow, I thought she was at least 16. Peter! What? She really knew her stuff. She's a smart kid. Too smart. She keeps bypassing security. 
Unless you have a level 6 access to my ship all of a sudden? Didn't think so. Nicolette Gold, empty your pockets. No. You empty your pockets. Nikki? What? I know you're hiding something. It was me. Yeah, all those locked doors back there, I, I hacked them. You hacked them? Yeah, I'm a hacker now. I, I hack stuff. You know, beep, bop, boop, 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 beep. I told him it was restricted. That doesn't explain the falsified orders. I don't know what to tell you, Mom. Your security staff have been sleeping on the job. All I know is I'm not hiding anything. I wouldn't do that. To be continued. Disengage lockdown. So, can I go help secure the hangar now? No, you can go back to your quarters and you can stay there for the next 30 rotations. But, Mom! I can make it 30 cycles. So, rough day, huh? Exploding shuttles, quarantine zone trespassers, missing kid. I have no idea. Chewy. I can't believe you still have him. I can't believe you survived. Mercury was what, like a thousand degrees? More like a thousand cycles ago. You can keep him if you want. He is yours. Hey, I ordered him to look out for you. Expect him to keep doing his job. Especially, you now have a daughter, apparently. On second thought, it's only fair if I ask Chewie. He is a grown Wookiee, definitely old enough to make his own decisions. Okay. Yeah, he says he's okay. So, uh, how are you doing? You okay? Peter. When we picked up your ship, part of me was excited. At first. And after all this time, you haven't changed. At all. You're still the same. I've changed. Whatever the fine is, I'll pay. Just give me three cycles. Let me prove that I'm not still whatever it is you're going to finish that sentence with. You're going to pay 7,000 units in three cycles? Wow. Um, okay, that is a lot of money. Here, I was thinking that maybe... The fine's non-negotiable. My search party found a disturbing amount of prohibited tech lying around your ship. Well, that's all they found, right? Okay, okay. You'll get your money on time, no problem. This Guardians of the Galaxy thing, we are this close to getting it off the ground. And if I didn't have these handcuffs on, I would show you just how very close we are. Why do I feel like I'll regret this? Oh, come on. When have I ever... You won't regret it. I promise. You've got three cycles, Peter. Not four, not five, three. Contact me when you've got the units. And if we don't? The device we installed will deactivate your ship. And you will all go to prison. Gotcha. We won't let you down. What the hell, Peter? You said you could get us out of this. I did. 7,000 units is a small 7, price. 7,000 units? That is a tremendous sum. Where are we gonna get that kind of money in three cycles? By robbing a freaking bank, apparently. Okay! So we got fined. So we have a Nova tracking thing on our ship that's gonna shut down our engines if we don't pay that fine in three cycles. At least we're not on a prisoner transport. Not yet. Oh, come on, guys. You're Drax the Destroyer, man. You killed Thanos. 
Allegedly. Are you gonna let a little fine slow you down? In Gamora, you're practically an MI6 agent, but way hotter and, and cooler. There's nothing you can't do. Here it comes. Rocky, you're an actual genius and the scrappiest dude I know. How many prisons did you break out of? Seven. Seven. I am Groot. You are Groot. Guys, we're supposed to be a team. All we need to do is figure out how broke we are and come up with a plan. So check your quarters. Check between the sofa cushions. Check under the crafting bench. If you find any spare units lying around, grab them. I'll do the same in my quarters. All right. This is why you don't sleep with cops, Quill. They put bombs on my ship. My ship. <sighs> I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard. Nuts, stolen technology, units... <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Now. There ain't nothing to fetch! Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the Dash Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. Why does this... I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. Eh, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? Kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course, a, a spinal control thingy. Back on Half World, Kree scientists used these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. How many of you super soldiers were there on Half World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon? You gotta understand. She was afraid of them, and the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... I'm awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. <sighs> what we didn't know, what I didn't know, was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. I heard a die, Quill. Ah, oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. Uh, wow. Okay, um... Well, if you need anything, let me know, I guess. Sure. Just can't leave it alone. Yeah, I was wondering if you wanted to talk some more. Depends. What do you want to know? Sorry, man. I'll give you some space.
What do you want, Quill? If you're looking for units, check your own room. Peter Quill, order the tree to open this door. I am certain that the rodent has hidden a stash of units within the latrine. All right. I'll check on him and tell you if he's doing anything weird. Acceptable. Root, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? We appear to be 6,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly... Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always She's holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will star sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of mature. Kakarandara. Real mature. We will see guys. Maybe Rocket has something. There's a lot of crazies out there, Quill. Willing to pay for this kind of weird. No! Let's say my collection is actually worth something. There's no way we find a buyer in time. And even if we do, there's no way it gets us what we need. And most importantly, any attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable of yours. Perhaps we should reconsider another course of action. Yep. Such as capturing the infamous... No! I am Groot. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Tell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He is cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. The monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable and vicious and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it, Quill. The point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster. And we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be 100% sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not 
not seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Okay. Next time, I'm flying. Monsters do not fly ships. Monsters do whatever they want. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> You, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. And it's not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. Out. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. You must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri trader to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of something huge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Your reputation is why she tests us. Did we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender's a known warrior. That was way too close! Well played, Lady Hellbender! So we're still doing this? Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get thrown right off! Good advice! Okay, this might be more dangerous than I thought! Yeah, key words live! If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship! Yo, Quill! Fortress is this way! Of course he knows we're on the clock! Three cycles! It's close, 
We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. I am good. Eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rose. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Black! It's not alone. Get ready. Next, 
here looks like we are outside lady hellbender's sanctuary the creatures here are not her pets but food they sort of do look like food we're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here where the flark is she going there's a trail going through the jungle try to find a way up This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it at all. Clearly not a husk! It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time. Having fun? Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. Drax, you can pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodent would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now I continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws inside the tracks, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What you <laughs> This is further proof. Firing at Peter Quill. Did you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. Good thing we have a plant guy to take care of a plant problem. He says plants aren't problems. I don't know. Rocket! Can you take care of those branches? You want me to blow it up? That shouldn't be our answer to everything. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it first. <laughs> what about her sister, Nebula? Guys, monster planet, dark, dangerous, can we focus here? Are you frightened of monsters, Peter Quill? Only the scary ones. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet? Uh, dead end. That's just right. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! 
Put me down! We're not throwing rockets. Very well. You sons of fucking chogs! How will we cross? Don't face Look around. And we'll find another way. What's Shatari Tech doing on a backwater mud ball like this? Not a chance. We both know it's too far for you to stretch across. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just leave it. What's your problem? My problem is that trying to hunt me over There has to be something to Maybe a tall tree? Taller than Groot. It would be easier to throw the rodents. No, it would not. What if he breaks a leg? He would still have three. No one's throwing rock. Statues are of the monsters on this planet? They're made of rock. Thanks, genius. I mean, maybe this is why Hellbender is so hot for monsters. Just another religious nut. He is not a nut of any kind. She is a conqueror. Maybe these were from the people she conquered. Shooting your way out of every problem again, Peter? I'd like to. In here. If you bump into any monsters, let us know. Monster planet. Right. Hey, my shooting's not aimless. Everything I do is with purpose and, you know, heroism. Statues are not watching us. Do not be so sure. You say Lady Hellbender has eyes everywhere. Hey! I found more ruins down here! Drax, think you can topple this? Indeed. That obelisk looks promising. I may have angered them. All right. Let's try not to fall. That's your pet talk. Great place to leave a sculpture. Wait, hear that? Rise oh. up, people. Incoming! These things are pissed and deadly. Let's stay focused. 